took the wrong way, but um, now we're back. We're uh, vlog vlogging on the streets, and um, it just it's just nice. This weather's nice. This is like my favorite weather ever, kinda. At least I'm feeling good and chill and serene and calm. That's the car because the streets are very empty with minor distractions, and you just sometimes randomly have cars like this pop in, and. You know, it's not boring and I used to go on night runs, you know, on nights like these when it's raining. We're just raining, it kind of, you know, I guess stopped raining, but um, it's nice, it's good. And you know, I've, I've been thinking about success and what it means to be successful and um, what it takes and what, how, see that's when we stayed in. Well, can you see it? Uh, yeah, over there, see? Over there. Um, fucking car fall over me. The fuck can I get kidnapped here? <laughs> anyway. Uh, fuck, what does it say? Uh, that restricted me. Um, yeah, what well, it means to be successful and stuff. And I think that just, you know, these YouTube channels, I watch self improvement shit, right? Um, I'm kind of. I was kind of done with it because, like, fuck you guys, you know? Why do I need to prove myself to you when I should prove myself to myself, right? That's the, that's the rationale. And it's a good rationale, but I think it's half and half because what, I guess these channels are, what, whatever the fuck, every successful person, right, will tell you, hey man, don't do drugs, don't drink, don't party, save up your money, invest it, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's good in theory, but I'm an empty shell of a fucking human because I don't do that shit. And I, I don't have fucking money to do it with, but you know, just coming back from work, gonna get paid like 30 pounds, you know? I w I've did a night shift, fucking 30 pounds, mate, but... You know, so it's getting paid, so can't complain. I also stayed, stayed a bit over time after my shift was over. So I finally pulled the guy's hot strings. He asked me, oh, are you going back home for Christmas? And I was like, no, I don't have money for it, which is true. I was going to visit my parents, go back to them, but I can't because I can't afford a plane ticket. They're back in Turkey, so anyway, um, another car? Another car? No, nah, it's not. See? She's all all hours, dude. We can have this one on one. And um, fuck, what I was saying? What was I saying? Yeah. And I think that <clears throat> you have to have those experiences. What I realized, because you know, fuck. I mean, everyone has to fucking have the party phase or whatever, right? And all I've been doing so far has been, I even like, I just went to work, right? And I was even kind of against the idea of working. I was like, you know what, I'm going to start a business. Because when I go to work, I, I give eight hours to this boss, this business. And I don't like that. But the thing I realize is that when you start a business, like you just want some quick cash, right? Fast money, shit like that. But I don't think, unless you're super lucky, that's possible. You need to put love and effort and a lot of shit into a business. Plus fucking money man it's hard to make a business out of fucking zero just no zero or like less than 50 pounds let's say you know and because money fixes the problems especially in business and that's what I gotta say yeah and um whatever money I had from jobs or work before I just put it in myself right I got some acting classes or I buy clothes or I buy courses and I think that's all good but I've never really had any fun with any money in my life ever you know and I think that's uh, what's what's lacking I let these fucking folks and I'm like oh wow this dude is this little talking about good shit let me listen up to me but yeah I never really had fun and I'm thinking I just like fucking just work my ass off all summer, right? Get at least a thousand pounds, which is I work twice a day, let's say that's 150 around that, right? But and summer that's like four, five, six months away, and you know, a thousand pounds, 150, you know, twice, so fuck, four weeks. I think I could get to like a thousand and three months or something. I might be wrong with the math, but I could definitely get to a thousand. You know what, what I'm gonna do with it? Waste fucking all of it. I'm just gonna spend it all. All on fucking whatever the fuck I want. 
And you know what? I don't I don't drink and I don't smoke and I don't fucking do do the weeds. You know what? I mean I've done the I I mean oh fuck what was the term dabbed? I have taken a hit or two. I didn't like it, it made me feel uh, retarded. But you know what? i I might just be like, hey, I have money, I'm I look good and I'm 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 with some friends. I'm just gonna enjoy myself, huh? How about that, huh? How about how about that for fucking self improvement? You're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're like, hey, well, I'm just gonna have fun with people that love me and I love them back. You know, they tell you to be selfish and shit and self improvement, folks, and so which is which is good, but <clears throat> I, I can only, you know, these are the streets I, I, I ran at. I used to run them, but anyway, I genuinely thought about this and what I want in life isn't. To fucking put 10 hours into my business. First of all, I'm an artist, right? So, I want to make the best art and stuff. And just impacts you guys here watching, you know? Because that's, 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 that's how I get my dick hard. Just impacting people and just you know, giving people a good time. Right? Anyway. I'm not a fucking businessman. I'm not... I realize, like... I made other people's goals and ambitions and mindset's my own and it's not who I am like yeah I can be intense sometimes and you know I, I if I really want something I'll pursue it and stuff but you know what I I I, I um I work hard I do the things but I'm not I mean fuck compared to most people I will be the hardest worker in the room but Oh yeah, here's the other thing. When going online, I think ruined my mental health because you see all these top people, right? The best at what the fuck they do, and you're not, you're not the best, man. And I went outside today, right? Oh, I haven't done that in a long time, so yeah. And I saw all those people. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm depressed over these chumps. I'm depressed thinking I'm a loser. And look at those people, man. Shit, I ain't no loser. And. You know, some people said other people are jealous of me and shit, which I did, don't believe. I think I'm a loser. Didn't believe, but anyway, I guess compared to them, I'm doing shit in life. Actually, I'm failing, but you know, when I'm taking those steps, I'm putting my ass on the line. So you know, at least I'm doing something. At least, well, a lot of people are sitting on the couch and scared. I'm doing it. You know, at least I know, at least I know the answer, even if it's no, at least now I know, you know? I try to like drop shipping shit twice. Then I make money, well, not really, but I learned how to make a website, right? Isn't that great? I, le I learned how to fucking make a website. And I try to run some ads and you know what? I made no fucking money from it. But you know what? I learned how to run ads. I know I'm doing that face. And I've also been like doing some skincare shit, which didn't really work, but fuck. You can see like my skin looks a lot clearer, which it's, it's, it's nice. Cause I always hate on my skin how fucking shit it looks. And like right now, it, it, look, it doesn't look awesome, but it looks, it looks fine. And you know, I didn't have this before. You know, when I lose some weight, when I get to fucking jawline and shit, that'll look cool. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, with the thing, I've been thinking, with self-improvement shit, they tell you to be a man, right? But I didn't, I was never a boy, I didn't have that phase, I never was anyone doing any high school shit, and I realized I was fucking, like, what, five months in uni last then. I haven't really made any friends or done anything, done any uni shit, man. And I think, fuck, it's easier, man. Whoa. I think, I think that's just giving me developmental problems because I'm just trying to leap the pond, right? I'm just trying to leap. I'm just like, oh, I was a fucking loser kid. Now I'm just going to be a businessman. Fuck that shit, man. Deep in my, deep in my heart, I thought, and what I want is not millions. I just want to be financially kind of comfortable and be around good people and have fun. And because of poverty and poorness, I forgot about that. I, you know, I struggled a lot to... 
for I want to live and all that shit and I forget about that I want to have fun in life and you know when I'm 21 I can't do this I can but I also thought I'm like okay I gained some weight right and here's the thing can I have fun as I am yes can I have more fucking fun if I'm fucking ripped and look fucking cool and awesome and I had cool clothes on? Absolutely. Especially with girls, you know. I'm not not really a person to sleep around and shit, but I've been thinking, hey, maybe I'll just create a, a, new, a new different alter ego because in my head I feel like I'm always a loser, right? But I do this method acting shit in real life. Now, this is me, but, you know, with the flinch character I created, if I was flinch right now, I'd be like... Have that he has that like old school handsome vibe. <laughs> Just going on talking about his day, but you know this is the, this is me right now, not playing. I create a new one, and you know maybe maybe this character takes a doobie here or there. You know maybe this character doesn't really want true love. He just wants to get his fucking dick up. Then the fuck's wrong with that? No, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. And I think. And once I dissociate th those with myself and think I'm like method act in real life, the and I I don't know what to name him, but I drew drew the shit and stuff. And once I once I do that, then it's no longer me. It's just I'm playing a character. So you, know, you can write the backstory. You know, you can be from whatever the fuck you want. And you know this is method acting, right? So your looks, I believe, have to change. You also have to change your name because you're not playing yourself in, in life. And you know, people do this all the time. As autistic people don't know it, but I'm an artist, so I create characters, right? And I'm a, I'm an actor. You know, I do, I do, I do voices. Am I gonna fucking do a voice here? What the fuck? I thought someone was j gonna jump out the window. Anyway, the what was I gonna say? Oh, dude. So chill, this way the fucking box. What is that a fucking gas station? What is that a gas station over there? Oh, I think I remember this place. I came here, um, there's a skate park here, and I came here like two years ago to make friends, and I made zero friends, and um, <clears throat> I was going back, and then I went to my bus stop. No, fuck, it's a different story, so. Yeah, I got a skateboard to be friends with some girl, but then she didn't really want to go skate with me, so yeah, nothing happened. Then I went to the skate park here, I think, if it's here. That little fucking looks like me. What the fuck? Anyway, as I was saying, I want. Uh, fuck, is there a skate park here? The fucking old man opened the door and jump scared the fuck out of me. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like scary to even fucking. Talk to yourself on camera in public, even though it's 3 a.m. The fuck is this guy saying? I was rude and peace. He's talking. You know, how is this guy? Monotone voice, rude and everything. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't want to tell the story, it's embarrassing I'm public. Well, here goes nothing. But, um. I can. I'm like, am I being followed? Okay, here goes for <sighs> You really don't want to say it, man. I better whisper it. No, that would be bad. You shouldn't whisper it. Okay, so I don't know if the skate park is here, but I went to the skate park and I was talking to this girl at the time. And what happened was I forgot my skating gear in a bus and it was very cold and I just had a t shirt on. I was like, oh, I'm gonna skate, I'm gonna get sweaty, I don't need a jacket. I was dumb back then, okay? Always take your fucking jacket in the UK because it's cold as fuck. I'm getting blinded right now by this car. Anyway, it's raining again, and um, you know, I forgot my skin gear, and I know the dog was like 60 pounds or something. You know, my helmet and shit is in my bag, I forgot on bus, I got out, and I'm like, fuck. So, I just waited on the stop, checking every bus that comes by. To see if, if my skin goes in this girl, so I, I just messaged her like, "Hey, I forgot this. Could you like, if you were, we used to text, it was like, oh wait, maybe we should text and stuff. Just you know, keep me company, cause I, it's cold and I'm freezing and I lost my shit. I don't have anyone. And, you know, I just got completely ignored. <sighs> One of my many traumas. And yeah, fucking gas station, gas station. Uh, my phone's gonna die, man.
Yeah, I guess this is it's my brain dump. Um, yeah, I wanted to kill myself yesterday, but now I'm good. My skin looks good for the first time ever. Um, so what I do is in the morning I exfoliate, I sometimes moisturize it and use triton tritonian, tritonoin. And I used to use cleanser, I haven't used it in a couple days, but you know, I guess, sh fuck man, shit works. I don't, I don't look like a bag of melted fucking potatoes for once. Anyway, uh, well, I love you, bye. What are you fucking gay? What are you fucking gay? What are you fucking gay? I'm gay for you, dude. And, uh, if you're a woman, ah, woo, baby, look at that, extra, extra, X chromosome, woo, <laughs> alright, see ya.